Hello. Okay, people, welcome to the what's been going on of this week. Uh, follow behind, I don't know if he'll come or not to the video. He'll decide if he wants to be the star of the show or not. And on this week, from the 1st to the 7th of July, what a heck of a week, my god. Um, lots of things happened, many, many, many things. I, as you can see now, I'm not in the same place as I did the last what's been going on. Right now I'm in Stockholm. Uh, last what's been going on was in Zurich. So on last Sunday we were supposed to, okay, we were supposed to go come to Sweden by car from Switzerland on Monday. But since the people that we were staying in in Switzerland were so cool and so nice, they offered us to stay one extra night in Switzerland. So what do we did? We of course stayed the extra night. To my opinion, I think it was a great idea. I really enjoyed it. So that extra day in Zurich. And on that day, yeah, then we went to sleep kind of early because on Tuesday we started the trip, the adventure, which was the whole the main course meal of this week, which was that we went from Switzerland to Sweden by car. It was an 18 hour trip. 18 hours in a car. That's a lot of hours. I don't know if you've ever been 18 hours in a car in a day. That's, <laughs> that's quite a bit. So we went out and on Tuesday I was, we were in a car. We had some great talks. It was very cool, but um, we decided to divide the trip in two. So when we were close to, when we, we went all through Germany and we were very close to get to Denmark, we decided to stay in a hotel on Tuesday. And we stay in this hotel and remind you, it's Tuesday. It is the Euros. There's matches, there's things going on. And it's a Tuesday, like, it's not Sunday, it's a, it's a normal day in the week. The restaurant is closed and there is nothing, nothing from kilometers away. The hotel is the only thing that did it. Well, of course, it has like farmers and houses and things close by. No supermarkets were open. The, the only restaurant, which, which was the restaurant of the hotel, was closed. So we didn't eat <laughs> for Tuesday night. It was... Um, <laughs> but I was very surprised because we had a neuro match going on. It was Austria against Turkey, I think. And we were hungry. The hotel had the restaurant and it was freaking closed. So it's like, dude. So we had no other option. I saw the video on my laptop. The TV didn't have the even the match, but I had to see the match. And we went to sleep relatively early. And Wednesday morning we started, the goal was just to get to the house in Sweden. We don't care, we need to get to Sweden <laughs> on Wednesday. And on the trip, we stopped in Copenhagen. Very, very interesting city. I have to say, it reminded me a lot about London. Like the, the architecture, the, uh, the way people were dressed, the, the vibes. It was a very, very beautiful city. It was my first time ever in Copenhagen and uh, probably one of my favorite cities I've ever been. I only went there one day, but I still really enjoyed being in Copenhagen, the colorful, um, you know, buildings, all of that was very cool. And then we just had lots of fun. We were just making jokes about everything that we could think of. We were insulting each other. It was very fun all through that Copenhagen thing. And then we went back to Sweden. And then on Wednesday, we got to Sweden around eight o'clock. Well, not to Sweden, but to the, to the house in the middle of nowhere, which was where I spent all of my last summer, last year. And we spent there all, all throughout the week. Well, from Wednesday until Sunday. Because today, we just got to Stockholm. 
But throughout these days, I was so amazed by the house. It brought back so many memories of um, last year, what I did. Constructing the thing, I went to see some horses. Um, the horse of the neighbors, because it's like in the middle of nowhere. The only thing we have is like agriculture, and horses and cows. and um, It was very fun. It was very fun. Uh, the house was very different as of what I got it. Well, as of the last time I saw it. And uh, yeah, I watched many Euros matches. Many Euros. Many. So many. I have been watching over the last two weeks, I think every match of the Euros I've been watching it. Which I don't think it's negative. I don't think it's something bad. But I think it's maybe too much time using it, <laughs> using it in front of a TV or a laptop. But it's not bad, because it's something I enjoy, but it's, it may be too much. Who knows? Only time will tell. I, I think... No, nah, it's good. It's good. You know what? I take back everything. It is good use of time, because I enjoy it. And because we're in summer, I don't have school, we're good. There's no problems towards that. But Polo... Polo! Where the fuck is this dog? Polo! Damn, I want him to appear. Turns out he doesn't want to appear in the video. He may in like 60 seconds, but I really doubt it. And yeah, the best Euro match this week was definitely Euro. Uh, was Germany against Spain. My god, what a freaking match. Whoa, because the, when, when Germany scored the, the, the goal in the last minute, of the normal time and then I was like oh no Germany may win this this is no good the you know the, the vibes of Spain has dropped and they took out the, their two best uh, uh, strikers and then all of a sudden the last minute goal of extra time with uh, of Spain it was like what it was like what I couldn't believe it so yeah and the match of Spain, no, the match of France Portugal was very sad. The last match of Cristiano in the Euro, that's very sad. Even though I'm for France, I want I want France to win the Euros. It was sad seeing Cristiano being eliminated. And uh, the England, England of course, we watched the penalties together, just the penalties, I watched all the match, but yeah, it is what it is, it was enjoyable. And yes, we already came here. There was so many, so much wind. My God, you have no idea how much wind there was. But yeah, now I'm in Stockholm, and for this week, I think, will be very chill. Like no more crazy trips, going through countries all over the place. This week will just be chill in Stockholm. No crazy stuff anymore I think this is this will be for the first time in a long while the first calm week I've had well I will have it hasn't happened already but yeah that's it that's what happened during this week and yesterday I spoke a lot with some friends that I haven't spoken in weeks yeah some Spanish friends some Costa Rican friends some French friends that I haven't spoken since last April so it was very fun. It was, I quite enjoyed it. I quite enjoyed uh, this last week and yesterday as well. It was very fun. I went to walk a bit towards here because this is my first time staying in this place. I don't know it at all. So I was just walking by, speaking with my French friends. It was very fun. Yeah, and I'll see if I can bring Polo or not. Polo, dude. to say goodbye say goodbye Polo goodbye yeah cool thank you a lot for watching this video and see you in the next week bye